Hear me okay? Well, I'd like to thank you all for inviting me here today. I'd also like to thank my wife, Dr. Ellen Nichols, for all her support and hard work she's put into this campaign. There's no way that I can do this without her. 35 years ago, Ellen and I were married in the Friends Church in Gardner, Kansas. It was the best decision I've ever made in my life. Thank you, Ellen. For the past 18 years, we've lived in Joplin. We've raised our family in Joplin. Ellen and I are both very involved in our community, professionally and civically. We're going to retire here in Joplin. I'm a lifelong Republican, and I'm proud to have always labeled myself as a Republican. My values are Republican, and I've shown my values and my service to my country and my community. When I was 19 years old, I voted in my first presidential election for Richard Nixon. The values expressed in the Missouri Republican platform are my values. I'm pro-life. I've received the endorsement of both the Missouri Right to Life and the Missourians United for Life. I support the Second Amendment. I'm a former Marine, a former Boy Scout shooting sports director, and I own a small rifle collection. I believe in free market economy and in minimal government interference and in minimal government regulations. I know how to grow businesses and how to create jobs. I've been endorsed by the Missouri Chamber Political Action Committee and by the Associated Industries of Missouri Political Action Committee. My values are Republican. My values are the same as my community. This shows that over 95% of our contributions are local, Republican, conservative. They come from people like you and organizations like we work for that share our Republican values. I want to take these values to Jefferson City and represent our community. In Jefferson City, I will work to convert these values into action to improve our economy and our society. To do this, we need to do several things in the legislature. First, we need to pass real tax reform that supports businesses and create jobs. This means reducing or eliminating business tax and decreasing individual tax. We need to look at making Missouri a right to work state so we can compete on a national level for bigger industrial jobs. We need to strengthen tort reform and get rid of that burden of frivolous lawsuits that still taxes our businesses. We need to reduce government interference in business. We need to reduce government bureaucracy. We need to put our beliefs and right to life more strongly into our law. We need to support teaching American values in education. That's what I'll fight for when I go to Jeff City. I'm Bill White. I'm asking for your support August 3rd. Thank you. I'm Shelley Dreyer, and I'm running for the 129th District. I'm proud to have been born and raised in Southwest Missouri with Southwest Missouri values educated in public Southwest Missouri schools. I was born to a man who's a factory worker and a stay-at-home mom. I've been working since I was 16 years old and through work, scholarships, and student loans, I was able to put myself through college. I'm proud to have owned a small business and proud to have served as a judge. My husband, Mark, and my daughter, Marley, are here somewhere. He's probably chasing her. She's only two and a half. I can't spot her now. But we adopted our little girl two and a half years ago. Before doing that, I was already pro-life. I've had conservative values all my life, and pro-life was one of those. But when we met her birth mother, who told us, as a teenage, pregnant, young, poor lady, that she seriously considered aborting that baby, I knew that I had a duty to fight for the right of the unborn. The reason why I'm running in this race is because as a mom, I have concerns about the future of our family and I know that other Southwest Missourians have those same concerns. In Jefferson City, I'm going to fight for our families and the number one issue facing our families right now is jobs. It affects everything. The reason why we're making Cuts in education right now is because revenue, state revenue is down because of unemployment. I've studied what other states have done to attract business to their states, to put together a plan of what we can do to attract those limited number of jobs to Southwest Missouri. We also need to cut the tax burden on small businesses. We need to make sure we support our education system to turn out qualified students, qualified graduates, 
and a qualified workforce to attract those businesses to southwest Missouri. We also have to support the small businesses that are already in existence because I believe that it is through those small businesses that slowly we're going to create jobs and pull ourselves out of this situation. I am proud to receive the, have received the endorsement by Missouri Right to Life and Missourians United for Life. And I'm also proud to be the only candidate in this race to receive the highest rating from the NRA for a non-incumbent. And I am also proud to have received the endorsement from the Missouri Association of High School Principals, Elementary Principals, and School Administrators. I can't promise you that I have all the answers, but I will promise you in Jefferson City, I will be fighting for our families every day. Thank you.